Welcome to the channel my dear friends and in this video everything you need to know how to replace the ball joint on a Ford Focus that's not so difficult to do and the CV axle seal which one is on, on the side of the gearbox let's get started and we're working on 2005 Ford Focus with a manual 5-speed transmission safety first apply e-brake and Chuck your wheels, make sure vehicle is not going anywhere. Pretty simple. If you're first time to the channel, subscribe if you like it. If not, just go and watch more videos. Thank you so much for doing that. We're working on the passenger side. We need to remove the tire and let's get started. Okay, I took a cap which is covering the CV axle nut, one inch and a quarter socket to remove the nut and uh, that's the easiest way just using the impact my vehicle jack it up and on the jack stands already and take a wheel off that's uh, first things we need to do always think about your safety and use the jack stands never trust the hydraulic jacks okay here's a tie rod we need to disconnect this guy just clean the tie rod and with a metal brush make sure it's all clean that will help and spray the penetrating oil you can also to do that in advance and let it soak for some time okay we're using 15 millimeter socket to undo that um, nut okay take a nut off you don't have to use the impacts you can use just a regular ratchet that's fine do the cleanup we took that uh, not off and now the way I'm doing a removal procedure for the tie rod and just to use the hammer like this just whack a couple of things around the knuckle uh, part and that will get it a little bit break loose and uh, will make a tie rod and removal from the knuckle easier okay just put the knot back I go three quarters of the threads make sure it won't damage the end of the tie rod okay and hit it once and see she's out nice and easy yeah it shouldn't be a problem and we save the boot and check the tie rod and that's you see it's stiff all good not loose and boot is good as well as no cuts no separations we don't see any grease coming out okay there's a 15 mil and we're using t45 torques to undo the bolt joints bolt on a ford focuses you replace the bolt joint with a lower control arm and clean the t45 torx uh, side of the bolt make sure it's fully fit and use the 15 millimeter socket with the impact to remove the nut okay put a nut back three quarters of the thread and then just hammer it few times whack it with a hammer to let that bolt get loose and that way you will be able to remove it and that's a bolt works as a pin holding the bolt joint inside the knuckle as you can see we'll, we're going to reuse that bolt keep a nut and bolt together and pry the lower control arm from the knuckle all the way down if you are doing only ball joint you just need to refer to that procedure how to undo the control arm but for me it's easier to do control arm and at the same time replace the seal okay now before i'm going to replace the seal we need to drain the oil from the transmission use a allen key and drain the oil you see some oil was left and the seal was leaking you see all covered in gear oil on the bottom of the gearbox place the drain plug back and tight you don't need to tight it too much when it stops do up to one eight quarter of the turn that should be enough okay now we need to undo couple bolts for the CV axle bearing that's uh, on the side of the transmission 
and you know automatic transmission in this matter is pretty much the same as the manual and not that many differences as well guys if you have any questions or something is not clear please feel free to ask any questions down in the comment section below and i would like to help you to do this job properly and this is my project car and uh, yeah okay we have the well drain axle bearings brackets removed and now we can pull the axle from the knuckle see i just pulled the knuckle out and from the, the cv axle came out now the simplest part we need to pull the axle from the gearbox from the transaxle called the aka transmission but yeah simple as that it's not that difficult just do it step by step and uh, as i said if you just need to do the ball joint you just follow the part for the lower control arm and if you need to do the cv axle that way you still need to disconnect the lower ball joint from the knuckle and you don't need to remove the lower control arm from the car you inspect the bearing inspect the uh, rubber boots make sure there's no cuts no grease showing up and expect the splines and check the overall integrity of the axle okay i started using a sealer puller tool but seal was so uh, corroded around the edges and rusted and it was so sealed up and i couldn't just remove using the regular way just pulling with the puller i get it loose with a chisel on the side of the seal and then i finished with a puller because it was just it was tearing seal apart and it wasn't enough grip and make sure you're not scratching the housing just grab the seal here we go i pull it out and help myself with a chisel to get it loose and then finish it with a puller okay seal is out and before you start installing the seal always compare that to the new part you purchased make sure they're exactly the same check the outer diameter inner diameter check the thickness make sure seal is identical that's very important because sometimes you can get a wrong part even if it looks like it's from the car place the seal in place like so i applied a little bit um, uh, sealant because um, around the edges of the housing i have so much corrosion and drive the seal down inside with the hammer carefully and i was using part of metal of plastic pipe yeah unfortunately my camera turned off when i was in installing the seal but you got it how it's installed it's pretty simple and i have another video how to install the seal i will put it down in the comments below and you can see okay now we need to undo the uh, lower control arm and i'll start 17 mil wrench and we're using the socket to undo the bolt and take the bracket off and a new uh, control arm will come with the new bushings all together and yeah front bolt removed now we're going to the back one it's easy to get with the a socket and a ratchet and same way undo it from the bottom with the impact yeah see i removed that nut and remember which way uh, fasteners were installed nut was facing up now is the time for the front uh, bolt it's an 18 millimeter socket and we're using 21 millimeters range yeah thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate your time as well we're keep going and we're half done through our work and hold the knot with the wrench and undo it uh, with the impact and socket nice and easy yeah this is where you remove the lower control arm see arm is out and yeah there's a bushing that's what i said new one will come with a new bushing this bushing seems to be still okay but on forts um, you cannot separately replace the ball joint they have a rivets and uh, yeah 
it comes with a new control arm and ball joint you see the boot was torn lots of dirt and it's inside and also dry and no grease and it had this play yep time to replace do the cleanup and remove all dirt which is on the bottom of this engine subframe make sure everything's clean and ready for the installation yeah, before installing a new part, make sure everything's clean and ready for it. Okay, I cleaned all dirt and all our parts are clean and almost ready to install the new lower control arm. Clean the bolts, make sure threads are clean as well and that will help us to make a installation faster and easier. All right. That's clean and I like to wash it everything what's left with the brake cleaner spray it wash don't spray it on rubber boots because it might just deteriorate them later. Okay, place the new lower control arm in place how it was originally fitted. Simple as that and remember bolts go through from underneath up and nuts should be on top i started all fasteners by hand and also guys uh always refer to the official ford focus um, shop repair manual but i couldn't find i use the information from the ford focus forum for the, those uh, torque specs for the bolts angle to torque and all those specifications if you would like to use that information it's totally up to you i will put a link down in the comment section below and remember this video is only for demonstration to give you a general idea how to get it fixed okay i got some anti-cyst compound on my bolts and i'm going to torque them and that's it for the lower control arm that way you replace the lower control arm and this ball joint is your torque wrench then you angle do the angle torque and that's way it's safe to be used okay but always refer to the manufacturer specifications for torque okay now we're putting our cv axle back make sure it's all clean no dirt and place the cv axle back into original position just make sure where you put in axle and with the splines into the gearbox don't rest on a seal lip and push it all the way in and it will get engaged with the splines inside the differential yeah you see that tight fit all the way in and we're good to put our cv axle bearing bracket and secure it in place same way as we removed same way we're putting everything back in place yeah okay those two bolts and at the same time doing the cv axle seal i replaced the worn trans engine aka at the same time transmission lower mount bracket with a bushing i will put a link down in the description below how to replace the engine mount and uh, yeah as you can see that's that's not hard to do it and uh, if i can do it you can do it and this video is a good demonstration to give you a visual idea how to get it right if you do it properly you just do it once use the quality parts as well and that will be good to go for a long time okay wash the end of the uh, cv axle where the splines make sure there's no old grease any dirt clean the threads and now we're ready to almost get that final part done i applied a little bit of anti-seized compound on the splines it will help easy to slide the axle inside the knuckle and yeah wash the hole where the ball joint pin will go through make sure all that right and yeah that's way there's nothing inside and we remove the that protective plastic uh, cover for the ball joint over the boot don't forget that place the cv axle inside the knuckle and now we need to 
get it fit push the lower control arm with another hand down a little bit and you see it's a halfway in already now we need to get the lower control arm and a ball joint connected to the steering knuckle okay place the nut see the axle nut at the end that way axle won't slide out okay now we have axle halfway in with the nut at the end and we'll just need to place the lower control arm ball joint inside the steering knuckle you see i removed the boot don't forget that and yeah pushed it down and align the hole with the ball joint pin it should be easy you can uh, adjust the angle on a ball joint make sure it's in same the same line with the hole nice and easy see i push it a little bit in towards out and it's in pretty simple pretty easy yeah, a little bit of dust blow it out and it's inside as you can see it's tight fit and now we just need to put our bolt see that's a cover i was talking about make sure you remove that before you install the ball joint okay uh our knot is there we need to tie that but that's a little bit later okay and uh, yeah it's all in you should see all the way through there is a slot on a ball joint pin okay now we need to put our bolt back i applied a little bit uh, mm, anti-seize compound that will make future removal installation process a little bit easy and won't get rusted inside the knuckle here we go and same way you put a bolt and just drive it through whack it with a hammer and it will be good to be installed the rest of the parts yeah see just now you put a put a nut nice and easy see is that this is a 20 minutes video in real life everything took me roughly three and a half four hours and uh, yeah it's not that hard but you will definitely learn a helpful skill and save a good chunk of money doing it by yourself and as you can see you don't need that many tools very basic tools you can use and now get that tie rod and back and connect it to the steering knuckle put a nut back same way uh, i always use new nuts for the tie rod ends you can buy them and torque it properly and then, yeah i will put that link to the ford focus forum that's what might be helpful to you and torque that ball joint nut as well and then um, yeah needs to be torqued click click nice and tight and uh, yeah we have our tie rod ends all in place torque tight ball joint control arm everything's in place we install new cv axle seal and beauty is as you can see new engine mount as well that will be in the description i will put the link there and now apply blue anti-seize or oh, not anti-seize loctite it's prematex and put a nut back before you apply a loctite make sure there's no any grease or oil on the threads and that will be good to go to tight lug nut with the impact inch and a quarter socket and then lower down the vehicle put a tire and torque it with a torque wrench to the specs okay i torqued that cv axle nut and now we need to put that ford cap back forts are nice i personally like forts okay and torque the wheel thank you so much guys again for watching very appreciated your time this is my hobby small youtube channel if you'd like to support it just 
please go and watch more videos and subscribe as well. Yeah, stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.